Well, hi there. Today we're going to show you how to set up SparkPost for Suite CRM. Now, Suite CRM is the open source continuation of the Sugar CRM project. So, this should probably still work with Sugar CRM. I'm going to have two tabs open one for Suite CRM and one for SparkPost and bop back and forth between the two. Now I'm going to assume that you've already set up your outgoing domains in SparkPost. If you haven't, uh, go over to our video on how to set up SparkPost with Joomla for instructions on how to do that. And the reason I'm assuming that is most people don't have just Sweet CRM as the only thing in their domain. Usually they have their main website, mydomain.com, and then set up Sweet CRM as like customers.mydomain.com or crm.mydomain.com. So you've already set up your outgoing uh, domain name. You can check that in um, Spark Post under Account Sending Domains. There it is. See, got all our sending domains, and we're in OpenFaceSystems.com. See, we've already got it set up. So, uh, under Account, you want to go to SMTP Relay for uh, the first part of the information we're going to need. All right, and there's some of the information. In Sweet CRM, you need to go to the menu in the upper right and go to the admin. Now, if you're not an admin, you can't do this. All right. So, in the admin section of Sweet CRM, you see three big sections up here at the top. There's users, system, and then email. Email is where we want, and the link that says email settings. Click on that. And the very first one is outgoing mail configuration. <coughs> You need to set who your email is going to come from and the from address. Again, this needs to be in one of your verified sending domains. And then choose your email provider. Under choose your email provider, we're going to click other. And now comes the copy and paste. SMTP mail server. We go over to SparkPost and copy that. It's listed as host. SMTP dart dot sparkpostmail.com. Paste that. Make sure use SMTP authentication is checked. Now it's going to ask for username. Back in SparkPost, username is always SMTP underscore injection. Again, copy and paste. SMTP port is 587. We'll post that <clears throat> and enable SMTP over SSL or TLS. You need TLS, Transport Level Layer Security. Uh, allow users to use this account for outgoing mail. Check that. And now one last thing, the password. You'll see a link that says Change Password. And now we have to go back to SparkPost and API keys is what we want. And we're going to do a new API key. And I always give it the domain name. Uh, and the API permissions it needs is send via SMTP. Now you need to put in your allowed IP address. Uh, I'm going to look mine up with NSLOOKUP. And there it is. That's command line NS lookup, or you can do NS lookup online. Either way. So we've typed in our allowed IP. And we click Add API key, and it gives us this long thing. We're going to copy it and paste it in Sweet CRM, where it says password. And we're going to save the changes. And go back in. And it says send test email. And the email for the test notification, you can change that if you want. 
and I'm going to click send. It says one moment, please, performing task. And it was evidently successful. It says an email was sent to the specified email address. Check to see if he got it. Now we give it just a moment and go over to our email and there it is. It says uh, this email was sent in order to test the outgoing mail server provided in the Suite CRM application. Successful receipt indicates that the outgoing email server is valid. All right, we're done. Now, what does this buy you? Well, now you can go into Suite CRM and go to one of your clients. And you see this little email address link here. You can now click on it and send them an email. And subject, uh, this is a test from SparkPost and a nice fancy uh, HTML email to the client. And you can attach uh, photographs and uh, you know, do formatting and things like that and send it to the client. From the client side, it looks like this. Here is our little test email complete with the HTML formatting and we're good to go. If you would like more information on how to integrate Joomla and Sweet CRM, see our other video about that. Thanks for your time. Talk to you later.